I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. And for those of you first time passing, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button. You can share the video, you can like, or you can put the thumbs down, whichever mood you're in. And um, today I just wanted to talk quickly about the four Jamaican men. They were called the Oval Four, who were framed by a corrupt police officer, Derek, um, Derek Ridgewell who's from, formerly from the South Rhodesia Police Force. So you can imagine what he had on his mind when he stopped these four guys 47 years ago. They were young, coming from Jamaica, young men coming from Jamaica. Fortunately, they didn't spend that long amount of time because they had an appeal. So they must have known something was wrong because they was originally... Um, convicted for two years and it went down to eight months. Anyway, it has taken them 47 years to exonerate them. They were um, accused of mugging, robbing um, handbags and all sorts. And you can imagine the worst thing you can call a Jamaican is a thief. And that is what these corrupt, this corrupt police officer in particular was accusing them of. They beat them badly, you know, beat them badly and forced them to sign a confession. That is what they went through. But um, Winston True, he was the one who persisted and persisted and persisted. And he said that um, Ridgewell, even though he's dead now, he died at 32 in jail. He was convicted of um, stealing mail bags, can you believe? And he was blaming it on someone else and that other person was convicted. So the other person got freed as well. But the thing is, the damage has been done. And, you know, there's three of them that they found who know that they are exonerated. And that's Sterling Christie, Winston True and George Griffiths. The fourth one, Constantine Boucher. They can't find him. So he doesn't even know he's been exonerated. They don't even know if he's dead or alive. But can you imagine being, having, spending all your life with a question mark over your head? People are not quite sure whether you did it or whether you didn't do it. There's always that question mark until you're exonerated. So I can understand why Winston in particular, who is the mouthpiece, said he's so thrilled at the result. He said he used to go at school to night, spend night upon nights, just thinking about that Ridgewell who framed them, framed them, deliberately took these for I mean, what is the difference between this and Trayvon Martin? you know, and Zimmerman, you know, these people, the police, they get away with it just because they're police. And it takes a system 47 years to resolve it. How can it take that long? Especially when Ridgewell died at 32, goodness knows how many years ago. And it's only because they found other associated crimes, black boys being stopped by him, and the um, the evidence didn't match up while they decided to investigate it further. But 47 years, that could that's 47 years that these men had a criminal record that could have prevented them getting a job. I think Winston True wrote a book about it, or had one written, I'm not quite sure. I think it was Black by cause or black because or something like that. But he actually documented his story and he said he was so glad to persist with it. So I just thought I wanted to share that with you because, you know, it's great that they have been exonerated, but it's a pity it's taken them. They're now like in the late 60s, 167, 169. And, you know, hopefully the compensation for, you know, the humiliation, the degradation, the loss of job, the emotional stress is they get it before they pass over. Because, you know, these are the type of things that when you reach the stage of life, you need a certain quality of life that you've been deprived of. And the Oval Four, I don't even know if they want to be known as that anymore. But these three gentlemen, these three Jamaican gentlemen, at least they've been exonerated and they can go to their casket with no shadow over them. 
So I'll just kind of read it quickly. Um, three black men convicted of mugging on the London Underground 47 years ago have been cleared by senior judges after they were found to have been framed by a corrupt police officer. The Court of Appeal quashed the convictions of Sterling Christie, Winston True, George Griffiths after the case was referred by the Criminal Cases Review Commission, otherwise known as the CCRC. The men who were born in Jamaica and moved to Britain as children were aged between 19 and 23 at the time of the charges. The conviction of the fourth man, Constantine Boucher, has not has not been quashed as the commission has been unable to trace him. I think it should still be quashed anyway, because otherwise that's still hanging over his head. Um, if they, okay, the men who became known as the Oval Four were arrested at Oval Tube Station in South London in March 1972 by an anti-mugging unit of the British Transport Police. The unit was led by Detective Sergeant Derek Bridgewell, who had previously been in the Southern Rhodesia Police Force. The men signed confessions written by Ridgewell. I want the one that says they were beaten to a pulp. Where is that one? Um, oh, I can't find the one that says they were. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, they described their experience in the police station as a night of dread. True, Winston True, graphically describes the altercation at the Oval Tube Station in March 1972, where he and his friends were cornered by a gang of police officers led by the notorious detective Sergeant Ridgewell and falsely accused of robbery. Ridgewell was a truly bent copper who died in prison in December 1982 while serving a sentence for conspiracy to steal. According to the author... Okay, that's according to the author, because it, he, this is out of the book. So I took that out of it. Um, they were all brutally beaten and then forced to sign admissions of guilt. All four were then tarred with the then new label of mugger, a term imported from the US. After a five week trial at the Old Bailey, the Oval Four were found guilty of attempting to steal, theft and assault on police. All were jailed for two years in 1973. They were released from prison after eight months after a successful appeal. So the three black men who were convicted nearly 50 years ago on the evidence of a corrupt police officer have finally had their names cleared by senior judges. Winston True, Sterling Christie, now both 69, and George Griffiths, now 67, were arrested with Constantine Omar Butcher at Oval Underground Police Station by police who accused them of stealing handbags in 1972. The, part, the patrol that arrested them, which was set up to target thefts on the Northern Line, was known as the Mugging Squad. And like I said, it was led by that Detective Sergeant Ridgewell, who was later jailed for seven years. So I just thought I would share that with you. Your comments would be appreciated. You know, it's an unfair world, isn't it? But it happens all the time. How, can you imagine how many other people have been framed by that pe people like Ridgewell who are in jail innocently, innocently, and yet they bear those names, mugger, thief, and all sorts, just to perpetuate the negative stereotype. It's really, really evil and wicked. But anyway, at least they got their name exonerated, albeit it took 47 years. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.